Welcome to EV Morning. You grab yourself a coffee and we'll bring you EV News. My name is Martin Lee. If you like the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new show. All right, first up in the news this week, exciting news from one of the big EV makers. Hyundai, well, the group, so including Kia and Genesis, just announced a brand new all-electric platform. And that means all the cars they build in the future will be custom made as EVs. Worth remembering some of the great EVs they've made already. Things like the Kona and the Nero and the Soul EV, all what we would call a compromise car, built as a combustion car and converted into electric. In the future, as of next year, all of their new EVs will come on this new platform. It's called the EGMP platform, starting in 2021. And by 2025, there'll be 23 all electric cars. Now the group will launch this platform and include all types of cars, SUVs, CUVs, sedans, saloons. And the South Korean manufacturer did a lot to make sure that this new modular standardized platform will fit all of their needs. And it's exciting because it means they can ramp up the EV development much quicker. And the cars that you and I get to buy will be on the market sooner. Hyundai Motor Group said that the EGMP will allow a range of over 500 kilometers, that's 311 miles, will do a 0 to 62 or 0 to 100 kilometers an hour time of three and a half seconds. And the cars built on this platform will have a, a top speed of 162 miles an hour, that's 260 kilometers an hour. The platform runs at 800 volts, which is roughly double most other EVs on the market. So getting from zero to 80% of the battery on a fast charger could take 18 minutes. There's also gonna be an integrated charging unit that's bi-directional. That dream of powering our houses with our car gets a step closer. The battery pack is mounted beneath the floor between the two axles and the EGMP will use the standardized battery across all of their cars. They are pouch type cells. Okay, moving on, Mercedes are upgrading their electric eVito vans for 2021. Both models are going to come with a 114 horsepower electric motor. 92 miles of range for these vans when they're using the e-driving mode. And that's not too far, but it is because the battery is pretty small. It's a 35 kilowatt hour battery on a three-phase charger. It'll take about six hours to recharge, but that's pretty small for a van or a people carrier. The vehicle comes with a pre-conditioning heater system, so at least if they're doing deliveries from these kind of vans, they're plugged into the charger. Uh, they can warm up the vehicle, placing less demand on the heater once it's out and moving. And we will keep an eye on more commercial vehicles in 2021. And from vans to high-performance sports cars. To hit the track, Mini is teasing a high-performance John Cooper Works electric. Mini is working on the electrification of their Performance Mini, the John Cooper Works brand, getting its first all-electric model. The new Mini JCW Electric, of which a camouflage prototype has now been seen in photos on the track, is going to be based on a new vehicle architecture, so it's not going to be taking the existing Mini and making it just a little bit quicker. Now, they're promising to deliver extreme performance inside the Mini. Everything about the John Cooper Works Electric is all about performance. So how quick could it be? The Mini Cooper SE does 0 to 60 or 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in just under seven seconds, equipped with a 135 kilowatt motor and a 32.6 kilowatt hour battery. So think about upgraded brakes, wheels, aerodynamics, and sporty suspension. And we look forward to seeing that on the roads. Okay, next, there are so many positive stories coming from all around the world about various countries falling in love with EVs, and Italy is no exception. Italy's EV market surge continued towards the end of the year. In October 2020, the car market in Italy consolidated of the recovery that many car markets had in 2020 because of the global events, and Italy's electrification push continued. Plug-in vehicle registrations are relatively low by some European countries, but the Italians love their plug-in hybrids. 
Pure electric cars were also up, but not by as much. About 1.8% market share for pure battery electric cars. That is, in October 2020, the second best results, only just behind the previous month. So how many of those plug-in hybrids are sold in comparison? Well, about 3,000 pure electrics in the month of October, and about 3,500 plug-in hybrids in Italy. Let's talk Nissan next. Nissan is celebrating the anniversary of the LEAF. It's hard to believe it's a full 10 years since Nissan started sales of their pioneering all-electric LEAF model in December 2010. Now, in total, the company sold well over half a million Nissan Leafs around the world. That milestone was achieved back in September in 2020, when the 500,000th car was made at their UK plant in Sunderland. And the company reckons that the Leaf has saved more than 3.5 billion pounds or 2.5 billion kilograms of CO2 emissions. The car is produced in three places around the world. In the US, in Japan, and I mentioned in the UK as well. Now, for a long time, Nissan Leaf was one of the only good EVs you could buy, and for a long time, the best-selling electric car in the world. Earlier in 2020, it was overtaken by Tesla's Model 3. We think sometime around February or March, and the Model 3 has probably done over 700,000 versions now. And we'll finish off with news of a quirky three-wheeler from a name you may remember, Aptera, a back with a $25,000, 1,000-mile EV. And pre-orders are open now, but you only get three wheels. The wait to see what we get from the new look Aptera is over. 1,000 miles of range, a $100 refundable deposit gets you in the queue, and $25,900 gets you the base model. All the Apteras will feature solar technology, what they're calling never charge technology, adding up to 45 miles of range on a sunny day. Depending on where you live, that may be enough for you to have EV power and never plugging in. For that $25,900, you get the front wheel drive version. It's got 134 horsepower, and 25 kilowatt hours of battery pack. So that version, only 250 miles of range. What do you think of the Aptera? Looks kind of quirky, could be useful. Would you have one? Let us know in the comments below about that or any of the stories on today's episode. We hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one.